Many people are worried about their furniture because cats tend to scratch on them. But uh, if you look at uh, my place, I actually have a lot of furniture that don't have any scratches. But I admit, I actually have also like this couch. It has uh, some scratches. And so I'm going to uh, give you some tips on how to make your cats stop scratching furniture so that uh, you'll have a scratch-free uh, stuff like I do, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to avoid your cats from doing that. So this is Sir Nikolai and we're going to learn something new today. I think we all have to try to understand why our cats scratch on surfaces. Okay, so if you actually research about it, uh, the things that you'll find out why your cat does it is that first, your cat uh, would just want to stretch and relax. I'm pretty sure those of you have been taking good care of your cats, um, like in every morning or after they sleep and they wake up, they would stretch, and they would want to scratch on something. So that's the first reason. Uh, the second one is really just uh, to maintain their claw health. So uh, cats really love actually sharpening their claws because uh, as you all know, um, cats in the wild, they uh, hunt their uh, prey. And so cats are somehow just like that by maintaining good claws, um, you know, uh, they would scratch at surfaces. And then uh, sometimes they also would scratch, number three, to mark their territory. So that's another reason why they would want to scratch on your furniture. And finally, um, they just do it to feel good about themselves. So uh, being able to uh, scratch on something, the cat actually feels more energized. So just in case you're wondering how do you stop your cat or cats from scratching your furniture, uh, there are only three solutions to it. And the three solutions are very simple and uh, I hope that uh, you'll be able to do them soon. You might have seen what a cat tower or a cat condo looks like. So if you go to pet shops, sometimes you would see like very strange um, contraption of, uh, you know, weird platforms. Sometimes they're even like, uh, you know, double layer, or like triple or a quadruple layer of, uh, you know, of uh, like a weird um, tower. So we call it cat tower, cat condo. So those are specifically made for cats and it's a very good thing to have if you're a cat owner because when your cat uh when your room actually has that your cat can uh, stay there and scratch on the post whenever your cat feels like doing it and what is so interesting about it is that the materials that are being used for a cat tower uh, are actually uh, materials that would encourage your cats from scratching it so if you're looking at uh, this video right now, you're going to see that uh, my cat uh, here is uh, scratching on some surfaces of, uh, of the cat tower. Okay? But uh, just in case um, you feel like uh, the cat tower is uh, too huge or you know, it takes up too much space uh, in your own house, the alternate thing to do is uh, you can just buy a scratch post. Now, a scratch post is uh, literally a post with sisal um, you know, threading and then... Uh, so, the sisal threading is uh, what your cat would want to scratch on. Um, if you buy a scratch post, can I just recommend that buy something that uh, would not easily topple. Okay? So, that means uh, it should be big enough, bigger than your cat. Because if uh, the scratch post is too short or too small, um, it's not that effective, okay? So make sure that uh, your cat uh, scratching post is a bit big, okay? And so that uh, your, uh, your cat will be able to scratch on it, um, you know, with perfect balance. Because uh, your cat will definitely violently you know, scratch on it. So definitely you need a surface that is stable. Okay, so what if uh, you don't want to get that? You don't want to get a cat tower. You don't want to get... Uh, scratch post 
um, the final solution uh, for scratching is that there are actually some boards like a uh, paper boards where your cats can scratch on so if uh, if you can find that in pet stores I suggest that you get that but my suggestion is you have to have a scratch post because your cats are going to need it okay so I'm actually recalling uh, one uh, video that I posted uh, just a few days ago uh, what to buy as a cat owner uh, you know for the first time and that's the thing that I forgot because I uh, I forgot to, took a, uh, to take a picture of uh, that area of the pet store of Pet Express that has the cat tower. So anyway, uh, yes, if you're a first-time cat owner, you have to get a cat tower, a scratch post, or anything where your cat would scratch on. Just in case your cat does not want to stay at your cat tower or uh, where the scratching post is, um, you can actually just apply catnip on uh, those areas and your cat will go there because cats go crazy for catnips and so you might want to actually pour some very you know little amount on uh, different areas of the cat tower or uh, on your scratching post and your cats will just go there the next solution is actually very strange but uh, it's my favorite um, suggestion usually when uh, uh, people adopt cats from me and I usually tell them you know Vicks Vaporub uh, it sounds very cliche but it helps so Vicks Vaporub you don't uh, rub it on your body or on your cat rather you rub the Vicks Vaporub on furniture that you don't want to be to be scratched okay so what does that mean so if there are any surfaces um, that uh, your cat would uh, you know would probably scratch on uh, particularly wooden uh, surfaces or any kind of surface that uh, you know your cat uh, is trying to scratch on apply Vicks Vaporub on it okay cats hate the smell of Vicks Vaporub okay don't worry um, I have never had any incident where the cat licked um, the you know, Vicks vapor up, so it's pretty safe. So you should be fine with that. Now the alternate to um, getting a Vicks vapor up um, is really just spraying any citrus spray. So by uh, spraying uh, like a deodorizer or like a room, um, you know, air freshener. So I think uh, your cats would definitely just avoid that. Again, because cats hate the smell of uh, air freshener or anything citrusy. A lot of internet uh, websites will tell you that if you put double-sided tape on your uh, furniture or any surfaces uh, that you don't want to be scratched, it should work. Okay, so double-sided tapes, um, sandpaper, and uh, strange enough, aluminum foil. Your scratch don't like scratching those sticky or like uh, you know sandpapery or the aluminum foil um, surfaces. So they will avoid any furniture where you have that. So those are really just the three ways how you can make your cats avoid scratching your furniture, okay, or any uh, surface. Some people um, would actually think about having their cats declawed, okay? So what does that mean? So some people would uh, actually uh, uh, have their cats go um, have an op operation, surgical operation, and then they would remove the claws of the cats. So I am begging you, please don't do it. Okay. In fact, uh, some uh, vets and some uh, experts are saying that it is actually barbaric. It's not good for your cats. And the reason behind that is because your cats need their claws. It's uh, to give them a sense of balance, is to keep them from healthy and if you remember what I said earlier um, having their claws and uh, being able to claw you know on something helps them to relax and feel good about themselves so therefore no to the clawing please okay so don't do that to your cats what you can do however is uh, just get a nail cutter and then try to trim the nails 
okay? And when you trim the nails, please just the tip. Because uh, you'll be surprised that uh, the cat's nails, uh, even though they're long, you might be surprised that the that the skin um, or uh, you know the skin and the flesh of the cat is actually protruding, and so you might accidentally wound your cat. And so this is why um, some people don't actually trim the nails of their cats, and that's okay. But if you're really you know worried about your cat's uh, claws being too long nail cutter and then just a tip okay i suggest you have to use the sharpest nail cutter that you have so that it will not be any trouble okay so if you like this video please hit subscribe and uh thank you so much for uh, the people who are supporting this website i am so grateful for the support uh, that you're giving me so thank you so much and uh uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, and then hit the bell for updates. Okay, see you soon.